Dr. Mrs. Martha Jansen Lutrot uh, is an old girl of uh, Ula Senior High School uh, of uh, Hu and then continued to the University of Science and Technology at the time, KNUST, and finished in 87. And uh, thereafter, uh, was posted uh, work at the uh, KNUST hospital for a while and then continued to Tema General Hospital and then to Tema Polyclinic. I served as the municipal pharmacist and then work at the regional office before being appointed uh, the program manager for the Ghana National Drugs Program. I was actually the very first uh, female chief pharmacist and uh, apart from that I was the first chief pharmacist that uh, led the reforms to ensure that uh, Ministry of Health uh, because of the reforms that had gone on the teaching hospitals have their own directors of pharmacy and uh, I thought it is very important that Ghana Health Service also has their own director of pharmacy and also the ministry must have uh, a directorate of pharmacy that can look after all the issues on pharmacy in the health sector. For being the very first chief pharmacist, I was awarded by the um, Ghana Excellence Awards and uh, uh, I was awarded uh, for excellence of service uh, to Ghana in 2012 okay. and then thereafter my work uh, in other areas especially in the pharmaceutical sector was recognized by the WHO and uh, I was appointed to become an expert member of the uh, um, some of their committees and uh, in addition to that uh, uh, my work has been recognized globally and uh, the UN appointed me as a member of the expert committee that uh, looked at antimicrobial resistance and how it must be framed within the global space. My current role um, is the director for technical coordination according to the current MOH reforms and uh, with that coordination um, the, this directorate advises the Minister for Health on technical matters in terms of uh, nursing and midwifery in terms of pharmaceutical issues and policies, in terms of medical and dental issues, uh, in terms of external health cooperation, because Ghana is cooperating with a lot of other countries in terms of human resource, in terms of other um, bilateral arrangements. I believe that um, if a generation is not able to train other people after them, uh, that generation is likely to go extinct. And that is why for me, I had learned a lot from my seniors and um, my peers, and I, ha I have determined to train other people, and which I have done. I am glad that at least we are leaving a legacy for uh, the country uh, that people after us will build on. As a woman, um, the tendency is that women man, must not rise to certain levels, but I thank God for uh, others who saw my skills and competences and uh, felt that I could lead the team. I have a team of um, about four, four or five doctors who work under me and um, a team of other technical people. It is not easy uh, as a woman uh, to be leading men, <laughs> but um, it is about uh, knowing yourself and your own skills. And it is also about making sure that 
and nobody is belittled in the team everybody in the team has a role to play and you give them those roles with respect and dignity